Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll make a simple 3D practice drawing. And for making this practice drawing, make sure that you're in 3D modeling workspace. So if you're not in 3D modeling workspace, go to this drop down and change it to 3D modeling. Alternatively, you can also change this workspace from this gear icon on the status toggle. So click on this gear icon and change it to 3D modeling. So once you're in 3D modeling, start with the line command. So here on draw panel, we have this line command. So let's click on this line. Click at any point in the drawing area and track your cursor upwards. Then enter a length of 70 units, press enter. So now this will make a line equal to length 70 units. Now press enter to exit this command. Now let's go to this offset and enter an offset distance of 72 units and press enter again. Now select this line and click towards right. So this will make an offset line at a distance of 72 units. Now let's go to this modify, expand this panel and select this lengthen command and go to this delta and enter a length and distance of seven units, press enter. Now when you click at the end point of this line, this will increase the length of this line by seven units towards upward direction. Now click at this point and it will increase the length towards bottom direction as well by the difference of seven units. So now press enter again to exit this. Now we need to make circles at the end point of these lines. So for that, go to the circle command and click at this end point. So now enter a radius of 12 units and press enter. Select the circle and go to this copy command. Then go to the center point and copy this circle on all the four corners. So here we have the circle copied at all the four corners. Now we need to make tangential lines at the boundary of these circles. So for that, let's go to this line command again, press and hold shift key and then right click. This contextual menu will appear. From this menu, select tangent and now click on this circle. Now repeat the process, press and hold shift key, then right click and select tangent again and click on this circle. So this will make a tangential line which is tangent to both these two circles. Now press enter again to repeat the line command Press and hold shift key, then right click and select tangent again. Now click at this point and now press and hold shift key, right click and select tangent again and click on this circle. So here we have this tangent line as well. So now we need to make mirror image of this line and this line for these two sides as well. So for that, go to mirror command and select this line. Press enter. Now click at this midpoint and then add this midpoint and press enter again. So this will make a tangential line like this. Now let's go to this line command again, press and hold shift key, then right click, click on tangent and let's make a tangent line here as well. Then shift right click tangent and make a tangential line here as well. So now here we have this complete geometry. Now let's delete these two lines. We no longer need it. We can also delete all these internal arcs. So let's go to this trim command, press enter. Click at this point and make a rectangle like this. And here we have a completely clean geometry. Now let's go to the circle command again. And this time we'll make circle at the center point for all these sides. So select the center point and make a circle with radius six units. Now copy this circle on all the four sides as well. So for that, go to copy command, select this circle, press enter and click at this midpoint. And now go to this point copy it here, copy it at this point, copy it at this point as well and press enter to exit this command. So now our 2D geometry is complete. We need to make one more geometry at the center here. For that, we need to make a helping line. So let's click on this line, select the center point and let's make a line with length equal to 28 units towards left. So type 28 and press enter. Now move your cursor downwards and make sure that you track this midpoint. So track this midpoint and move at this point and click here. So now this will be the point where we'll create our new circle. So let's go to the circle command again. Click at this point to start the circle and make a circle with diameter of 58 units. So for that, type D and press enter. Now enter 58 and press enter again. Repeat the circle command by pressing enter key again. Go to the same center point and this time enter a diameter of 70 units. So type D, press enter, then 70 and press enter again. So here we have these two concentric circles. Now let's delete these two helping lines. We don't need them. And let's move to this home icon. 
this will show all the three axes and will be in 3d plane now we need to press pull some of the regions from this drawing so first let's click on this press pull command on modeling panel and click inside this area make sure that you're clicking inside this area not on any of these objects and now enter a height of 10 units and press enter now go to this concentric part and click inside these two circles and now this time enter a height of 95 units and press enter again so here we have this geometry right now my geometry is in hidden visual style so if you want to see your geometry in this form then click on this visual style and change it to hidden so this is the visual style which I prefer now let's go to this top view again select our complete geometry and let's hide this but before hiding we will make sure that our geometry is in parallel view so right click on this view cube and select this parallel so once you've selected parallel let's go to this extract edges click on this geometry of concentric circle and press enter now select this geometry and select this geometry then right click select isolate and select hide objects now the 3d objects are hidden when you click on home icon you'll see that only we have these 2d lines now we can remove these two circles we don't need it erase it so here we have these two circles now let's click on this top view again and make sure that again you are in parallel view so here we have this parallel view now we need to again make some geometries here so for making those geometries let's create first helping line so go to this line command go to the center of this circle which is not visible so you need to move your cursor towards the edge and now the center is visible so click here go to this left side and enter a length of 60 units and press enter again now press enter to exit this command now go to circle command again Click at this end point of this line and make a circle with radius of 14 units. So type 14, press enter. Repeat this command. Click at the same center point and enter a circle with radius of 6 units. So now here we have this geometry. Now again we need to make a tangential line which joins this circle with this one. For that select line command, press and hold shift key, then right click, select tangent. Now click at this circle, then press and hold shift, right click, tangent. And select the circle press enter again now we can make a mirror image of this one so let's select this mirror command from modify panel select this line press enter click at this point and then at this point and press enter again so now we can remove this helping line we no longer need it we can also remove this geometry because we have already made the required geometry using these drawings so we can safely remove them now let's go to trim command press enter and trim this area as well so here we have a clean geometry now we need to make one more geometry towards this side so for making that geometry click at the line command and go to the center again so this will again make a reference now we need to make a helping line once again so for that let's enter a 44 distance length for this line and press enter again now we need to make a line towards this side as well with length equal to 11 units so type line command click at this point make a line with length 11 units press enter now at this end point we need to make a circle so let's go to this circle click at this point and make a circle with radius 8 units and press enter now mirror this circle towards the center line so select this mirror command Click this center line and make a mirror image of this circle. Now join these two circles with a tangential line again. So select this line command, press and hold shift key, then right click, select tangent. Click on this circle and then press and hold shift, right click, select tangent and click on this one as well. So here we have this tangential line. Now once again, we need to make a line, but this time the line should be horizontal and it should be tangent on this. For that, go to line command press and hold shift key right click select tangent now select this circle and this time we need to make sure that this line is horizontal so for ensuring that i will specify length and direction for this line so type at on command line and enter a length of randomly let's say 20 units and then specify an angle 
of 180 degrees and press enter. So this will make a line which is completely horizontal towards left and with length equal to 20 units. So now we have made this line, we need to trim it. So let's select trim, press enter, select this part which we don't need and now we can make a mirror image of this. So select this line, select this mirror command and click at this point and then at this point and press enter again. So here we have this complete geometry. Now we need to make some cleanup on this. So let's select these two helping lines and delete them. Select trim command again, press enter and delete the geometry from inside. That is also not required. And we need to make some small circles here. So let's go to the circle command, go to this point, click here and Make a circle with a radius equals to 3 units and press enter. Let's select the circle, go to this copy command, go to the center point and copy it on this center point as well. Here we have it. Now we can remove the extra geometry which is not required. So go to this trim command, press enter and trim these two geometries. Select this middle circle and delete it as well. So here we have these two geometries which we need to convert into 3D. So go to this top view again and this time select this geometry, type J on command line and press enter. So this will join this geometry into a polyline. And let's select this and you can see that this is completely joined into a polyline. Repeat the process for this part as well. So select this part completely using this selection box and type J and press enter. So now four objects are converted to polyline and when you'll select this one, you'll see that now here we have a polyline. Now we can bring all the geometries back into view. But before doing that, we'll move this geometry to some distance. So first start with this geometry. Select this one and select the circle. Select move command. Click at the center of the circle and drag your cursor towards downward. Make sure that you're going towards downward direction and enter a height or a distance of 10 units. So type 10 and press enter. So now this geometry has moved downwards to a distance of 10 units. Now go to this extrude command, select this outer geometry, press enter and now enter a depth of 10 units. So type minus 10, press enter. So this will ensure that your geometry is made on the downward side. So now we need to make a hole. For that, go to this press pull command, select inside the circle and take it all the way downwards. And now a hole has been created. That hole you can see directly by panning it or orbiting it. So here we have that hole. Now press escape. So now we need to repeat this process for this geometry as well. For that, go to extrude command, select this geometry, press enter. And again, you need to enter a depth of 10 units. So type minus 10, press enter. Now let's go to this press pull command again. You can zoom this area if you want and click inside this. So once you click inside, that area will be highlighted. Now we also need to make a hole here also. So select multiple from this command line, click inside the circle and now press enter and drag it all the way downwards. So this will create a hole in this geometry as well. So now we need to make a copy of this geometry. For that, go to this copy command and select this geometry and now press enter. Select this center point and now move your cursor all the way towards downward direction so that this minus Z appears on the tooltip. Now enter a distance of 23 units and press enter. So this will make a copy of this geometry on the downward direction as well. Now it's time to bring our complete geometry back. For that, go to this unisolate objects button on this status toggle. Click here and select end object isolation. And as soon as you'll do this, you'll see that the complete geometry now comes into picture. In my case, I'm seeing some duplicate geometry, so you can get rid of these geometries. So select this duplicate geometry and this one and delete it. Once you do that, you'll be left with the complete geometry which we want to make. And here is the geometry. But right now, all the geometries are separately made. So we can join them into a single unit. So for that, go to this union command, 
select this complete drawing and press enter so now this will make this complete drawing into a single 3d solid unit you can see this drawing into different views as well so let's go to the shaded view and let's see the drawing so here we have it so i hope this tutorial was clear to you if you have questions don't forget to ask me in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos thanks again for watching have a great day